please visit TradingSim.com to simulate this trading lesson. Hey day traders, this is Al Hill from TradingSim.com. I'm going to talk about the 38.2% retracement today, but we're going to do it a little differently. Um, so, you know, some traders just look for the key Fibonacci levels and they immediately put in a position, but um, as you've heard from a number of our videos, uh, we like to look for confirmation, um, you know, some sort of, you know, a two-step approval, a two-step validation process, right? We see at least two things that give us uh, some level of confidence that, um, in fact, the, the Fibonacci level that we're looking at has some level of, uh, of importance, right? You don't want to just necessarily go out there and because something has a 38.2% retracement, just, you know, immediately open a position and, and, and that's that. So in our example today, we're going to take a look at the 38.2% retracement. Now, you know, again, if you've seen some of our videos with Fibonacci retracement, you know, we, we generally keep the time frame that we look back, right, in terms of highs and lows to a shorter time frame. But if you start drawing highs and lows from like here, 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 I mean, the Fibonacci will just completely cloud the chart and it'll be hard to make any sort of clear um, decision on anything. So we'll take the most recent low that preceded the up move, of course, and take that to the most recent high here. Now, if you notice, off of this high, we've come down, breached a 30.2% retracement slightly, but then quickly came back above it. And the one thing I like about this is when you have a situation where a 30.2% retracement holds, um, a lot of times it, when the stock continues to go flat and starts to make some higher lows in here, right? So low here, low here, low here, low here, right? So you continuously start to make higher lows. That's an indication that when you ultimately break the high, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna go much higher, right? Because the the demand is is in, you know, such a such a way that, um, you know, traders are unable to to push the stock down, right? I mean, they can't even get it past the 30.2 percent retracement, which is like the first major retracement level you want to look for. Um, so in this situation, right, we are at 12:53 in the afternoon, right? So you're kind of coming up later in the day. Traders are starting to kind of come back from lunch, so you can see it kind of went flat here, but again, unable to bust it down. So if the stock's able to get above the high, you're going to have some sort of, of a run towards the latter part of the day. So let's go ahead and put an order out here, put a stop limit order. Um, high is, of the day is 1032, so let's go 1033 with a limit of 1034. Now let's buy 15,000 shares. All right, so that's our order out there. As you can see again, you know, price is holding up fairly well here. Um, no real uh, pullback. Okay, now, all right, now look at this, right? So volume comes in here pretty good. So for, you know, 126 in the afternoon, that's pretty decent, right? I mean, it's not the morning trading when you get a lot of the volatility. So to come with this much volume this late in the day relative to the previous volume um, going on for the stock, this is a great sign. Also, remember, we have lower, uh, higher lows, excuse me, and the 38.2% retracement held throughout the entire day. So volume coming in here with a potential price break, you know, things are looking really good. All right, you can see we're long here. Execution price was 1034. All right, so we're long at 1034 and off to the races. So as you see here, right, the key thing to remember is that one, higher lows to volume as you approach a key level and a continuation of volume to the upside as you continuously push higher. So we're going to look to, you know, of course, take some money off, off the table um, as, as the stock. All right, so as again here, you know, we had a nice little pull pullback. So as you see here, the stock's definitely going higher. All right, so the key here in day trading is let's not get too greedy. Up $3,100, right, from, uh, you know, 130 up to basically 255 So at that point, it's time to call it quits. All right, so let's go ahead and close this out at market. And we're out. So again, remember, higher lows, volume as you approach the uh, breakout zone, and the 38.2% retracement which is, you know, one of the, the, the shortest retracement levels you can have um, of any significance, right, having that hold.
All right. Good luck trading.